This is Jimmy. How you guys doing? I am going to show you how to download the new firmware upgrade for your 3CAM triple cam. We have a firmware upgrade that will uh, change a function on it and some of you guys might be needing to um, download this new firmware. So that's what I'm going to show you. You're going to see my computer screen. That is my computer screen that I'm going to be um, training you guys on today uh, and I'll be talking you through it so you probably have these instructions that you downloaded I'm gonna go through these instructions with you and show you how to do it um, first you want to make sure you have your triple cam and it is turned off no power is supplied to it you want to make sure you have an SD card you can if you already have one of these SD cards you can use the SD card that came with it but make sure you follow step one is you format this and only take the SD card from the button side I mean from the cable side there's two sides there's the button side and there's the cable side so only take the SD card that you had in the button side and if you don't know how to format the SD card You'll see below here, there's a little video that you can watch on how to format it. But you want to format it. Format it means you're clearing it. You're erasing all the files. Um, it's like a brand new SD card. So this SD card is already formatted. All right. You're going to have the firmware software that you're going to download from our website. So you're going to be at our website. And there's going to be a spot that will email you uh, on where to find the software. This is our website that you see here. Um, or you're gonna, we're going to email you the software. But in this training folder, uh, uh, training video, I have already downloaded the, the firmware upgrade. So after you format the SD card, step two is download the firmware software. After you have it downloaded to your desktop that you see here, and I'm going to act like, um, I, I don't have it uh, downloaded. I'm going to act like that this was emailed to me. So, let's look at this. I got an email. And this is the firmware. I'm going to drag and drop this to my desktop. And this is the firmware file. After I have downloaded the firmware to my desktop, I need to unzip this software. This is in a zipped format. You can tell it's zip. That's the WinZip logo. I need to unzip it. So on my computer, I can right click and extract here. And this is going to extract the, the folders, the files, and put it in a file format. If you can't automatically extract the firmware, I have a, a, a website here that's on these instructions that you can go to this is the website and you can download the WinZip here so you download WinZip now it's a free software you can download the software and the good news on that once you have that software that will allow you to unzip unzip the firmware and once you have unzipped it it's going to be in a file like this and that file will look like this where you'll have four folders within the file all right makes sense now we're going to take the SD card And you guys all received with your triple cam a purple micro SD card reader like this. I'm going to insert the micro SD card inside this SD card reader like this. No, well, it only goes one direction. You can tell uh, once you fit it in properly. Okay, there it is. Now it is inserted inside the micro SD. I am going to plug it up to my computer into a USB slot. All 
when you plug up your computer, it opens up a new folder that looks like this. That's the new folder. I am going to copy these four folders on the firmware upgrade here. I'm going to copy these four onto this SD card. So here I go to do this copying. You see now those folders that were on the firmware folder is now on the SD card. And that's the only thing that's on the SD card. It's imperative that that's the only thing on the SD card. No videos, nothing else. Make sure that you don't have any other files on the SD card. And the reason why you know that is because you formatted the SD card. Okay, so now I am going to eject the SD card, eject the micro USB out of the USB, I got it in my hand, and I'm going to insert it, again, imperative that you insert it on the cable side. If you insert it on the button side, in this slot here, it is going to not work and your camera won't work properly. So make sure you insert it in the slot on the cable side. So that is what I'm going to do, is insert it on the cable side. Got to make sure that the triple cam is turned off. Do not have the triple cam on. And the way I determine that, there's no power. It's not plugged up anything, so it's going to be off. So make sure it's off. Once I've inserted the SD card in the cable side, now all I do is plug up my power supply to the triple cam, which I'm going to do real simply here. The camera is turning on as you see. You see the red light. That one moment is perfect. That meaning is upgrading. It will take about you know, 30 to 60 seconds to upgrade. But normally when you turn the camera on, it goes into recording mode. But since I am upgrading the firmware, it's going from recording mode into upgrade mode. And that's why it says one moment. Do not unplug power supply during the upgrade process. It's imperative that this camera keeps its power during the upgrade process. Don't press any buttons. Don't unplug the power. Just wait the 60 seconds or so for it to upgrade. Once it's done upgrading, as you see it just finished, it is going to automatically restart. And once it restarts, starts recording. This is good news. This means the upgrade was successful. Now I unplug power and my triple cam, three cam, dash cam is officially upgraded and ready to go. Thanks for watching today. We hope that this helps you with the firmware upgrade of the triple cam, dash cam. Thanks.